Hello, my Foxy Loxies. I'm here yet again. Um, I'm going to do a kind of dramatical eye today. I haven't done a dramatical eye in a long time. And y'all remember me talking about my new um, Clean Color Vibrant Eyeliner? This thing is so cool. Um, and you can find it at cleancolor.com. They have a chameleon colors of this for like three dollars. Um, first we're going to start out doing the eyes just because it's so dramatic I don't want anything to fall down, get down on my foundation. So we shall start with the Neutrogena. Any, use any kind of um, eyeshadow base that you have. I'm using Neutrogena Skin Soothing Eye Tint and the color is Petal Shimmer. I'm going to do one eye and then the other so it won't take as much time because once I do this one the other one will be like really quick. Then I'm going to use from Clinique, it's called Daybreak. It's just a really pretty champagne color. I mean this is so dupable. You can dupe this with any, any eyeshadow company I'm sure makes a color similar to this. Then I'm just taking a really big broad brush. Big broad brush. Say that five times fast. Okay. And then I'm just going to plan it on. Work it out. It's very eye opening and wide awake looking. My favorite kind of looks to do. Get in that inner corner. I'm leaving the bottom lash line plain for now because I'm not sure what I'm going to do there. I'm not sure if I'm going to put color there or not. Okay. And then I'm going to take Sugar Sugar, which is just a white shimmer, and it has broken. Oh, can y'all see it? See it? It's just a white shimmer. I forgot it had broken. And I'm just going to put that beneath the brow bone. And y'all can choose to use a flat white if you want. A flat white would be fine with this, honestly. Put a little bit right there in that inner corner. I love it. It makes your eye look wide awake and your eyes look bigger and brighter and all that good stuff. Now, if you have, I think it's Buttercup from Sugar Pill, you can use that or any yellow, bright yellow eyeshadow you have, you can use. You don't necessarily have to have this particular brand. But I just thought this was too cool for words. I've never seen one that had like a liner, a regular liner, like a cream liner, and then like a liquid liner on the other end. I thought that was so pretty. And the packaging is really pretty too. Okay. We are going to line... Just anchor your hand in line the best you can. This is going to be a thick line because we're going to go over this line with black. So it's going to, yellow is going to be peeping, peeping out above the black. I'm going to add the liquid liner on top to make it look that much brighter. Just drag it on its side. Kind of going to build it up. It's a little translucent, so you got to kind of build it up. Okay, I'm not going to lie to y'all. I had to work with this a little bit because um, the liquid part was a little bit translucent, so I had to build it up. And now I'm going to have to wait a minute for it to dry. So 
I shall return and then I'll be putting on my Revlon Color Stay. Um, what's it called? Liquid liner in black shimmer. Whatever liquid liner you have. So I shall return after this dry. I'm going to be taking my black Revlon liner. And let's have a moment of prayer and hope this works. Just follow beneath. I hope y'all can see this. Can y'all see that? I hope y'all can. Now, for Tightline and Waterline, I'm going to be using my well-loved um, Black Russian. I must say, I prefer roll-up liners because that way you're not sharpening away eyeliner. And don't get me wrong, I love this liner, it's beautiful, but it's so creamy that you have to sharpen it often to keep a sharp line, and that's kind of frustrating. Just a little side note there. Okay, now we are going to curl lashes. And I'm using Hypnose Drama from Lancome. It has just an amazing brush. It is an amazing mascara. I love it. And what we're going to do is we're going to apply it top and bottom. Let that dry and apply it again and again. So we're going to do that about three times. You can put on lashes if you prefer, but I do not have the kind of lashes that I want to put on and I don't want anything to cover up the yellow that I have painstakingly worked at putting on. So let's do that and I'll be back. Okay, I am blending out my CoverGirl and Olay Simply Ageless Eye Concealer in number 205. I'm blending that out underneath my eye before I put on my bottom mascara on those bottom lashes and just for me it's easier that way do it what whatever way is easiest for you okay I don't know if it's showing up on camera but I have on like a chameleon coats of mascara so just build it up some people will take and hold like if you have a playing card or something like that against your eyelashes and then just sweep up and keep combing up on those lashes you will build it up. I have like a cabillion coats. I'm serious. Now I'm going to be using my L'Oreal Tree Match in W1 Porcelain. And I'm going to be using a foundation brush to put that on. You're just wanting good even coverage all over. Now I'm going to be using Maybelline Dream Mousse Blush in Pink Frosting. Just any cutesy pink blush you have. And I'm just going to take a little bit on my finger. A little bit. And dab it on the apple of the cheek. And then take a clean finger. Make sure your finger is clean. You don't want to streak something across your face. And then just blend that in. Because the eyes are so bold, you don't need a lot going on. It's very mod looking. I dig it. And then My for the Crystal lips. Sense 66 lip color palette. And I'm going to be using on the second row the a mixture of the first or no the second and third lip color. That really pale pink I think looks really cute with this yellow eyeliner. I'm just using an Estee Lauder brush to put it on. I 
don't know, for some reason this look is reminding me of Twiggy. <laughs> but it's not very hard to do as long as you can anchor your um, arm down on a table to do the liner. Um, if anybody else out there has the clean color liner, drop me a note about it and let me know what you think of it. I'd love to know what someone else thinks of this liner. I felt like you had to work a little bit at it, but with any liquid liner, you're going to have to work at it somewhat to get a really good clean line. So I hope y'all enjoyed this tutorial and thank y'all so much for watching.